It is an event to mark the World Peace and Understanding Day by the Rotary Club in Lagos. The keynote speaker is a former chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Professor Atahiru Jega, and his task is to speak on the topic promoting peace among ethnic nationalities in Nigeria. Nigeria, an heterogeneous country with at least 250 ethnic and 500 linguistic groups, is challenged in many areas with threats of insecurity that has shaken the foundation of its nationhood. The professor of political science identifies eight key pillars of peace in a modern day nation state to include a well functioning government, sound business environment, equitable distribution of resources, acceptance of the rights of others, good relations with neighbors, free flow of credible information, high level of human capital, and low levels of corruption. If you look comparatively globally, many countries that are peaceful, that are developing, that appear to be nationally integrated, have actually paid attention to these issues. But we have not been paying attention to these issues. So the first recommendation I have made is that as a starting point, there must be a solid commitment by elected leaders at all levels of governance to uphold, protect, and defend the rule of law. The absence of those key pillars, Jaga argues, makes peace elusive in Nigeria despite a deliberate effort by the federal government to attain peace through the publication of the National Peace Policy in 2012. Now, given the imperative of peaceful coexistence and unity in a diverse system like Nigeria, Professor Jaga is pushing for patriotic Nigerians to stand up and identify effective ways to address the issues and restore stability, enhance peaceful coexistence and sustain socioeconomic developments. We need to focus attention on leadership recruitment as we move towards the 2023 general elections. You must have a program that focuses attention. In every community, people know the difference between good and bad. And we must insist that whatever happens, come rain, come shine, it is only the good people that are elected into positions. Speech from our keynote speaker, the eminent Professor Atairo Jaga, you know, was meant to bring us to the consciousness of the advantage of living together as Nigerians. Because without peace among the various ethnic nationalities that we have in Nigeria, it will be difficult to entrench democracy. Other contributors agree that Nigeria's challenges are not beyond solutions as long as there is the will to promote social, legal justice and institutions that promote them. The change of the game requires a change of attitude. The leaders gathered here are representative of the leaders across this nation. They are powerful, they are wise, they have access, they have industry, they have authority. You can't sit down on election day watching series of television series. You can't ignore the interests of the people who are living around you. You can't ignore the people in your village, in your little community, because those people are the building blocks of political power and the authority, the proper governance of our, of our country. One critical factor today is right from the cradle of the child. The agenda of peace must become. We must return to teaching our people in various languages at their levels on why peace is important. Because the product of peace includes prosperity, which we all want. Achieving all the points suggested above should begin with a different approach to the incoming election season, many here argue. In their words, Nigerians across social classes must begin to show beyond passing interest in those who seek to lead them and how they emerge. Dokumbo, Oyetunji, Arise News, Lagos.